Joke in, in Hindu. <laughs> I didn't do not knock to him. Full-scale revolution, total war. Give me a job. Terrible day. Oy vey, what a day, what a schmear. Hey, hey, what's my? Give me a kiss. Is there something wrong with you? <laughs> I had such a terrible day. First, the computer turns off. Then, the wolf painting jumps off the wall. It attacks me without provocation. Then, your mother calls. The toilet explodes. The duck I'm cooking tries to tell me how to live my life. The computer completely erased itself when it turned off. No wonder that I, I can't write my great American novel. Does this mean you're too tired to go to the country? No, it doesn't mean that. What did you lose? I lost, you know, I lost another day. What I lost was gold, golden notions erased, smoke dreams, phantoms. What I crave is, you know, consolation. Oh, brother. You know, it could be the computer turned off for a reason. Why would that be? Could be... I felt that the book I'm working on is no good. Why, why do you do that to yourself? It was a rotten accident. Wants to die. Oh, God. 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 Oh, uh, I'm sorry, we got, we got a little, little small catastrophe. Oh, honey. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> what is it the matter? Will you look at this? Get some air in here. You know? Just get some you air save in me? here. I married this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Open the window over there, please. Just over your face. Off. Thank you. Breathe, shall we? We're not going to the country, right? No, we're going to the country. No problem. This is all part of the plan. I don't know the last time. That's it, huh? That's it. Look, Hi, Al. That's it's the just, fire. It's just food. 
food. Duck. Really? I've left the gun to duck. 891 Fifth Street, apartment 303. This is shouldn't a happen. Though. 23. Repeat, is a 23. You've been warned before. I know. I'm sorry. You'll receive your summons in the mail. This stuff is so sensitive. $200. You know? No, stop. <laughs> New policy. It just goes off. Oh, what happened? Thank you. Back to the station. Thank you. Oh, Let your wife cook. It's a big one. Say something dirty. Socks. Come on. Say, say erection. Can you say erection? I'll never say it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what do you think he's doing, Alex? What do you mean, what do I think he's I doing? I know what he's doing. He's doing the old Romanian turn-on. He's saying, I think of the wolves. I think of the wolves at home. I see the dark, beautiful forest. And she's, like night. Night. she's like this. She's like this. Silence. Unless you heard the wolves. Well, there are no wolves here. I wonder if there are ghosts. The house is new. No, no, I mean the ghosts of the wolves. The ones that have been killed. <sighs> So, you want to fool around? Mm -hmm. You look good. Thanks. You know, it's been a nice age. I've missed you, you old ball and chain. <laughs>
gentleman there. Boss? What's the matter? There was something Come on. here. Shake it out. Come on. Bad. What? That was a nightmare. What are you talking about? No, no, Dad. Huh? <laughs> hey, that was a nightmare. They had me, Dad. Nightmares do that, you know, sometimes. I mean, if, if it didn't do that, then it wouldn't be a nightmare, you know what I mean? I mean, you know, what else? Uh, you know, daddy's, daddy's get their boys back, right? Yeah. Come on, do you know any songs? Do you know any Indian hunting songs? <laughs> yeah. Do you know? You, do you know the old buffalo hunting song? And cocktails for two. That's a good boy. Go to sleep. He was yelling. You, are, you didn't hear him. He was yelling. You were yelling? Where was I? Had some bad dream, I'll tell you. I had a bad dream, too. <laughs> I was so sound asleep. I, I was asleep. You were out like a log. He said something was after him. Some spider, huh? Like the spider from last night? It, it was real, Dad. Worst dream you ever had. It wasn't a dream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not surprised about you, Wick. You ate your way through this <laughs> table last night. I didn't think you could get up the stairs. Well, it's a good thing it was nothing. No wonder I pay a fortune for all this equipment. Some animal must have sent it over. How did you sleep? Well, uh, we saw a lot of lights last night. Whitley has that machine finely tuned. Huh? <laughs> Mosquito could set it off. No, really, there were a lot of lights. It was very hard to sleep. Cute monkey. Set that, that thing off. It's been the light what? from the bathroom. No, it was light that came in from outside. I can't believe you didn't see it. It was like day. I thought there was a fire outside, in fact. I came downstairs, you know, and there was a lot. There was this, this light. But then it, it must have... The floodlights went on, or I don't know, it was the moon. We were all dreaming, you know, and the moon, got, we all got involved in the same dream. It wasn't the moon. So it was a dream. This whole place was flooded with light from above. It wasn't a dream. It was the moon. No, it wasn't the moon. And it wasn't a dream. I'm telling you what we saw.
<laughs> so why don't you have your usual huge portion of uh, banana cakes there? Aromatic compounds. Perfume. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Aromatic compounds are perfumes. No, no, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I want to go home. I'm sorry, I, I'm not angry. I can't explain. Vite, I want you to take us back today. Come on, Alex, give me a break. I know I did not see the moon. I want to go home. Alex, what's a four-letter word for an old Italian? Take us home, Whitley! Please forgive me. Let's go. Um, Lisa, we just we'll clean up, then we'll go. We had a really rough night. Are you kidding? What's going on? <laughs> I don't know why we're doing this. Why? It's crazy. You know. Thank you for taking us home. It's fine. We could have taken the bus with me, really. There is no bus. There's not even a bus station. Now he looked at her, her eyes sad and scared. They looked so mysterious, blah, 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 blah. Oof, God. This is gonna be so terrible. Oh, another day down the toilet. What are you doing, Whitley? What are you doing, Whitley? Is your video on? Are you wasting time again, you devil? Hey, any warthogs seen my kid? Anybody seen Andy? Someone say something to you? No. Get into a fight? No. Is that Andy in there? Oh, yeah. Thought it was talking to a pirate. <laughs> Everyone like your teeth? I don't like the spaceship anymore. It's ugly. There were wolves in the closet, wolves in the basement, wolves all over the place. They work in advertising, they sell junk food and beer. They eat gigantic hamburgers and they drink cold beers for the baseball games on the TV and the bags of the potato chips with big enough to feed a horse. They have a lot of fun. They go to baseball games, they have a heck of a get time. Get dressed. I don't feel like this is something last time. I'm old enough. I'm liable to get hurt. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We've got 10 minutes to be over at the Greenbergs. Andy's way. Crack the whip. Drive the slaves off to another cocktail party. Make them babble about glasnost. I've lost another day here. He needs you. He's oversensitive today. He's in a funny mood. What's the matter? I, I, I don't know. He, he overreacted to something at school. He won't talk to me. I'm a girl. Here, put this on. Take this off. You're going as an elephant. You promised him. Is this the front? Or the rear. I don't know. Will you put your gray turtleneck on? Elephants are gray. Put your pants on. Come on, let's go. It's me. Treats, no tricks. Yeah! Get your bags to the door. 
door, God help the rest of the building. <laughs> Let's go to work. Be sure you didn't blow on this. I'd have it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. See you later. Oh, don't be afraid. I'm starting to get scared. Oh, I'm starting to get scared now. Ooh. Doghouse or what? Maddie, say goodnight to your father. I'm going to put our son to bed, and then we're going to talk. Oh, wonderful. No, it won't be wonderful, but it's needed. That guy went crazy. What's happening? What's happened to you? I got scared. What do you take me for? What do you think I don't know what you do? You're having problems with your writing? So fine, you terrified our son tonight. I scared myself too. You were frightened by a Halloween mask. Mm -hmm. Yes. A Halloween mask frightened you. Is there an echo? Yes. What am I supposed to say to that? What am I? What? I don't know. Why would you be frightened of a rubber mask? It's like I'd seen it. Alive. Real. What if he thought do this to me? <laughs> Bang, zoom. <laughs> I've got one child. I don't need another. You wait. You don't say anything more about it. I won't. Something was here. I'm sure. We're alone. What you doing? 
Same old thing. Been working? I got no ideas. God, but this place is a mess. How can you work here? Can I clean it up? Leave it that way. I like it that way. I like my workplace for the crust. I told you, don't touch my stuff. You know, you used to be funny. Yeah. I used to be an employee. I used to be able to write. I used to be able to do a lot of things. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are you doing? Hmm? I used to be funny. I used to be able to focus. I, I can't do anything. It's like I, I can't see anything but the inside of my own head. Do you want to go away or explain to Andy? No, I'm scared. You're not going to do anything. <laughs> Anything I can do? Welcome to the St. Mark's Church School Second Grade Rebel. Thanks a lot, guy. That was really wonderful. That's what I call dishing out some Christmas spirit. <laughs> huh? Where are we, Sad? Andy, what a thing to say. Well, we are. We just had a great time. But Dad's sad. I'm having a tough time, you know, with my writing. I'm going to have fun. Santa's coming in just a few days. That's right. Santa is coming. And, uh, you know, it's going to be great. Great Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Not too fast. Don't try to do it. <laughs> professional model, all right. Santa knows. I think Santa knows just about everything, don't you, Dad? Who writes this? Take, take off your clothes. Let's, let's go in another room and do it. I'm the same old, you know, do that. I mean, like you were before you got sad. Pretty great Christmas, Santa. You did everything. 
You bought the bike. Yes, Ella. You bought the bike. Was there an owl in here last night? An owl? I thought I saw an owl. Where? Mm -hmm. They come in the window. They were closed. Mm. I'd still be here. I guess. <laughs> mm. Aren't you cold? Must have been a dream. A heck of a dream. Let me tell you some one more thing about grizzly bears, that not only do they get as big as Volkswagens, but they also, they can run 30 miles an hour, and they can also chase you up a tree. Look for tracks, think? and. <sighs> Here's a big foot. What? I don't feel good. What? Come on, Dad, let's go. I don't feel good. Dad, let's go. My head hurts. It's behind. Daddy, you're okay. Now let's go. What's the matter? Yeah. You've got a little mark there, a little... Dad, let's go. A bite or something, a spider bite. Daddy, come on. Does it hurt when I press it? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. You right? Dad. Go ahead. I have to go home. Hey, wait for wait a second. Dark like that. Clouds passed over the moon. What cloud? It's cloud. no cloud. It's a clear night. What are you talking about? Everybody gets scared when a cloud passes over the moon. What's the matter with you? Are you through? You scared? 
You really are? I'm not scared. What are you? We're gonna check out the house. Something's, something's wrong. Oh, you're gonna check out the house? Why don't you just stay right here? Get your Why butt like over that? here in bed. What's the matter with you? Nobody's scared of a cloud that passed over the moon. It was a cloud. It's a clear night. What, what, what are you talking about? Cloud what passed cloud? passed over the moon. Nobody's There's scared no cloud. When a cloud. What are you passed passed talking about? What cloud? Who gets scared? Why do you get dark like that? Nobody. I'm sick of this. Shit. <laughs> Don't judge you off on some weird trick. What do you mean? You're scared of shadows. Don't look at me like that. Cut it out, Whitley. I. I mean it. This isn't hey, funny anymore. You are wrong. You got a child you downstairs. Cut it out, Whit. You come back to me. I am so tired of this. What is wrong with you? Nobody gets scared like that. I'm a nice woman. I am a good woman, and you have a beautiful child downstairs. You have a good life. What the hell do you think you're doing? So stupid, fucking monster. What the hell? So self-indulgent. I think that I'll call Sam Freeman in the morning. <laughs> Yeah. 
Is this where you had the injury? Yeah. It's a little red. Two days ago, it hurt so bad I thought my head was going to split. Well, it's fine now. You can get dressed. It seems to me they came into the house and they they dragged me out in the middle of the night. They rob you. The other thing. The rectal thing, right. Well, it happens, you know, mm. even to men. I've been going on the notion that it was some kind of hallucination, you know, nightmare. I speak of it, you know. I gotta say, it feels real. I agree. Seems like something really happened to you. They had big eyes. Fish. Were they wearing dark glasses? No, eyes. Big, dark eyes, like a... No, more like an insect. Long face, thin, not human. I don't recall them being human. So, what's it all about? Midlife uh, crisis? No, I don't think it's a midlife crisis. Were these grown men, were they kids? Four or five feet, like big, thick kids. They took me out of my own house. Where did they take you? I was in this, you know, smelly, small, round room, and they're looking at me. Is that where it happened? Well, that's a blank, mostly. There was this needle, though, you know, they stuck me on the back of the head with the needle. That's the mark that I tried to show you. Yeah. And there is a mark there. Have you told Anne about all this? What am I supposed to tell her? What's to say? I have to know what happened to me before I could say something. I can't say I'm... I'm, I'm losing my marbles suddenly out of a clear blue sky. There's no reason for this. I think a psychiatrist could help you. Hi. Hello. Where you been? I took a walk. What did Sam say? Sam's fine. He sends his love. You want some of this? No. He's, uh, he's sending me to a shrinker. Good. It's a woman who, who specializes in, would you believe, rape cases. You want something to drink? No. Rape cases? Remember that mark I had? Yeah. Well, I, I feel certain that I was given a shot. You were, um... When you, uh... I... Wait a minute, hold it. Sam gave you a shot. No. That night, uh, after Christmas. The night that I, uh... Okay, here it goes. That I saw them. That you saw who? Someone came for me that night. Who came for you? Uh, somebody came into the house. And, uh, wait, wait a minute, what did you say? So somebody came into the house and took me and... and, uh... They gave, they gave me a shot in the back of my skull. And, uh, this is ridiculous. They, they were small, bluish skin, and there were others. Long, thin faces and big eyes. And, uh, this is the tough part. They did not appear to be human. I'm sorry. What? Sam, you know, he... <laughs> I don't know wh wh what he thinks, but I think I'm hallucinating. Major, maybe psychotic 
hallucinations. So that's uh, it. What I have been trying to say in a nutshell. You know what? You do this regularly to me. You... If it isn't the crystal in the sky, then you're flying around the room. But this is... This is such bad material that, um... <laughs> little people... with big eyes... <laughs> some of them are blue. magazine writing. So who's been uh, working on your stuff? You taking drugs? So what is it? A girl? Hmm? You've come to a certain age and blah, blah, blah. Because you know what I think? I think you're lying to my face. Come on. You guys went out and left me a little while ago. Oh, we just went out for a second. I just had to get some air. You were having an argument. You forgot me. I would never forget you. That chair is good news. <laughs> and now you... Jelly bean, go to sleep. Mommy, is God real? I think so. I hope so. But nobody knows for sure? No. Actually, they don't. Nobody knows. So we're all alone? Who are the little blue doctors? They come to the cabin. They have big black eyes. They're really scary. They said, we won't hurt you, but I prayed for them to go away. But they just kept shining their lights on me. God didn't make them go away. Can I dream Dad's dream? I'm Janet Duffy. Hi, Ann Streber. Hello. Woodley. Yes. Sit down. Sam and I have already talked. You're comfortable being here together? Sure. Good. A healthy sign. So. So Sam told you that I'm saying uh, small people coming into my house and taking me away and this kind of thing and, uh... Do you drink? Uh, sure, but that's not it. Drugs? When I was a kid, you know, the usual thing, but that's... I'm way too old for that. Hallucinations, flights of imagination. <laughs> Just the occasional delusion of grandeur. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what happened to you. And I say these little blue midgets come into my house. <laughs> they, it's ridiculous. I, they took me out of the house and they stuck a, a needle in my head and I had some kind of a rectal probe. This happened when? D day after Christmas. <laughs> right? It was the, the, the 26th. Any disturbances at all prior to this? No. He does worry about prowlers. The place is isolated. But there haven't been any actual prowlers? No. Sounds and things like that, you know, nothing that you could... No, nothing that you could identify. There was one weekend in October 
We had friends up, Alex and Sarah. They saw something that scared them so much that they left. They saw lights. You saw them, too. There was light all over the place. They got so scared that they left the next day. And, uh, but I... I have all this very sensitive equipment, lights and burglar type of things. So you discussed it, you investigated? We didn't investigate. There was nothing to investigate. So what scared them? What happened? I'm talking about it, and I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea why I'm here. I don't know what I'm doing, you know, talking about this. Uh, I saw something, they saw something. There was a, a lot of light. That's all I remember. It seems to me that the overall vagueness of your memory suggests that we might clarify them a little bit by hypnosis. Would you be agreeable to that? Hypnosis? It's a simple process. It's sometimes very helpful in cases of psychological trauma when people have difficulty remembering what happened to them. Well, you think about that, and if you decide to do it, you can give me a call. Thank you. I'd stick pins in my eyeballs before I'd let that, that wacko woman fool with me. This woman is a pro. Sam sent you to her. Her evidence is accepted in court. Did you listen to her? What do you mean, did I listen to her? Why should I pay someone to talk to me? Because you, you fired a goddamn I'm gun I'm more interested than her. She should pay me. Selfish prick. Uh, you sit up and talk to me. Uh, I'd rather be dead. I'm going to tell you something. You're going to go back in that woman's office. We're going to find out what's wrong with you, or we're not going to have any marriage left. I'm sitting up. I'm sitting. My shoes. Yeah. I'm sitting. It's, you know, lighten up. <laughs> uh, crazy women. So, what do I do? What should I do? Where would you like me to go? It's best he be alone this first time. It's not exactly the electric chair. <laughs> Listen to me, Whitley. Look up at my finger. That's it. Keep looking at my finger. I'm going to count to 10 as you're falling asleep. And when I'm finished, you'll be deeply, deeply asleep. One, falling asleep. Two, falling asleep. Three, Falling asleep. Four. Falling asleep. Five. Falling asleep. Whitley? Huh. Whitley, let's go back to that first time. The night of October 4th. Last October 4th. What do you see? October 4th. Busy day, writing. Last week she was cooking a mess in the kitchen. And Alex and Sarah came and went to the country. Just come in. Yes. So we're in the car and we're talking and it's a lot of traffic and it's getting dark. We get up there and I can't get the security system to work because it's just every time I touch it it goes crazy. And fixes it. We go in the house, build a fire, first fire the season. We went to bed. What happens after you go to bed? I wake up, middle of the night. That's, I don't, I don't. Something went past my window. went past the window. A light. 
big, like a light. But I don't want to think about that, so I go back to sleep. This is no good. I can't do this. Whitley, tell me what you <laughs> see. It's almost as if this figure is... It's covered in something. It's sticking something into my mind. Images exploding. The world is blowing up. My... My boy is dead. Why do I have to die, Dad? Why? I'm not hypnotized now, am I? I think you just came out of it. I can't do this. Hey, what did I see? I don't know. I want to go home now. I can't do this. Quick. I don't need this. Quick. Bad dreams. Whitley? It was a bad state, but it's over. It'll never be over, not now. Whatever happened is in the past, and you're fine. You don't know. You said it. That's true, but it's all right. Whitley. Whitley, let him go. Let him work this out. Excuse me, I'm lost. Can you help me? Do you know if this bus goes to the end of the line? You know, I can't believe this. It's an ambush. You, you people, you're in. I'm telling you, you're in for one big surprise, one very big surprise. Do you want anything else, Whit? No, thank you. You're all looking for him. As you know. Answer to look here. I'm gonna know everything now. Let's go home. Did I tell you what happened? A little. When the doctor hypnotized me, I was supposed to recall prowlers or something, but in fact, I recall something else. I sure do. What? Little blue fuckers about that big. When I was a boy, we knew of these things. In the mountains, there were many mines. Strange men were seen, little and tough. They were called kobolds. The people of the lower depth. Cobbles? You talking about munchkins? You talking about trolls? You talking about leprechauns? What are you talking about? Whitley, the little men are real. They have haunted the world forever. You're talking about folk stuff. I don't know. Trolls or something. 
I'm talking about something else. We're back. I found him. How are you feeling? Good. I'm sorry that I got so crazy. Oh, don't worry about it. I've been thinking. Any calls? No. Huh? Whitley. There's a group that meets that you might want to join. Group? People who've seen the same sort of things you have. Nope, I don't think so. Bitly, they are real. I have a dozen patients who've all reported seeing the same beings you saw. No. All right. There is one illness, temporal lobe epilepsy that might cause such vivid hallucinations. But we all saw the light. Do we all have epilepsy? I mean, even I heard some strange noises. There's a test that you can take to determine whether you have the disease. Now, this is going to be just a little bit unpleasant. That's the thing. That's the thing. Don't move. Stay very still now. Don't talk. How long does this take? Not long, not long. About 45 minutes. Now, I would like you to do some deep breathing exercises for me. Okay, breathe in deeply through your mouth. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Now, that medication I gave you earlier is going to make you take a little nap. came back negative, you do not have temporal lobe epilepsy. Hi, Dad. Dad, I waited and waited for you to come home. Help me get to sleep, Daddy. I'm having a very hard time without you. Without a sound, the white camellia fell to sound the darkness of the deep stone well. That's a lot of pictures for a few words. Uh, yep. That's a kind of poem called haiku. Dad, I have a very bad problem. What's that? There's a skull staring at me with huge eyes. I can see it in my head. Did you have a bad dream? No. I saw little blue doctors, Dad, and tall, thin ones, too. Big eyes. Were they real, Dad? I don't know. Uh, what, what do you think they are? I don't know. They kind of scare me. Kind of? Well, not totally. They're ugly and that scary, but besides, they're all sort of soft and perfect, like that poem.
ten, falling asleep, deeply, deeply asleep. Anne, let's go back in time. Do you remember Christmas? Mm-hmm. All right, let's go back farther. Go back to the night that Alex and Sarah came to the house. Do you remember that night? Well, it wasn't a very peaceful night. Go on. The house was full. It was like a party. A party? I don't think Whitley was there very much of the time. What about your son? Oh, God, he's screaming. Oh. oh, it's painful to hear. Oh, it's like something's happening to him. It's Whitley's going. I want to go. I've got to go. You're not supposed to go. I've got to go. talking I to you. I can't say. I'm not supposed to say. I don't know. I'm not supposed to do this. Why? What, not... What's preventing you? I'm out of it. I'm out of it, right? I'm out of it. Yes, quite suddenly. I don't know. There was somebody. There was something. There was somebody else. He calls them. Little doctors. Mm. I don't like this. He seems so little. What should we do? Should he be hypnotized? Should we send him to Janet? No, oh, he's too young. I'll go back myself, see what this is. Whitley, let's go back now to the night of December 26, the day after Christmas. What are you having for supper? Goose and uh, cranberry sauce, sweet potatoes, Christmas leftovers. Now go forward to later that night. Go forward. What happens? I'm checking out the house. Why? In case there might be somebody there hiding. Who? Those things, people. Did you know about those people then? Sure. Did you tell anyone? I was supposed to. I have a gun. Why do you have a gun? feeling that there might be somebody there hiding in the house. I'm going to take you farther forward in that night. You relax, deep sleep. You're going to remain calm. What happens? I am you, and you are me, and... We are here. I am the dreamer. You are the dream.
Please, let me go. Awful. Terrible. What's terrible? What they did to me. I had enough. I give up. I want to go home. Here I am, I'm naked. I'm naked. I'm talking to you like you were real. Go to hell. Terrible. Can we talk this over? Yeah, it looks like you're gonna sing White Christmas. in my mind. in my mind. Oh. 
waking up. Two, waking up. Mm. I'm seeing things from my whole life. What is it, Wit? Three, you're awake. Thank you. Now I know this thing has been in my life, my whole life. I pass it on. Now it's with my son. I've seen them before. In your childhood, apparently. No, 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 like I'm seeing you, like I'm seeing this, like I'm seeing everything. Same room. You say that there's a group? Yes, a special group. I don't want to be crazy. I'd like to introduce Anne and Whitley. Whitley has had some very vivid experiences. He's a writer. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with a writer being here, Janet. Yeah, the force would kick me off if this got out. Do the rest of you feel threatened by his profession? Well, let's face it, the newspapers laugh at us. We're light entertainment. I'm not that kind of writer. I make it up. I'm a novelist. So what are you going to write about us? A comic novel? Wait a minute. Whitley isn't here because he's a writer. He's here for the same reasons you are. Why don't you tell us something of what you can remember? What I remember? Couldn't be what happened. What I happened, I don't know. I remember monsters. <laughs> they came into my house. The short, stocky ones in the coveralls or the slim, willowy ones with the big eyes? Beg your pardon? What? Who was involved with you? What do you mean? Oh, come on, let's cut the crap. Which group of aliens abducted you? Bob, we are not victims. We are participants. Well, I don't know about you folks, but I am very definitely a victim. I didn't want what happened to me. I didn't ask for this. Wait, wait a minute. Give the guy a chance. So come on, Whitley. Which group abducted you? Did you see a ship? Ship? A ship. This happened in a house in the country. Well, do you have a circle or a triangular scar anywhere in your body? No. Because a lot of us are marked. You know, I want to get back to this participant thing. I didn't want what they did to me. I didn't want a rectal probe, Lori. Honey. It's not funny. That's why I say victim. Nobody wants it. Nobody asks for it. But we have to make this experience work for us. Otherwise, we'll live the rest of our lives in fear. So we get together, and we talk about it. And laugh. Sometimes. Well, we're all space cadets here, so what the heck? <laughs> you have to make the best of it, you know. This isn't a joke. These beings are real. I mean, even if we don't know what that means. It may sound like a cliche, but these visitors do come in gigantic ships. And they contact a lot of people. Uh, and then, of course, we say it's uh, thunderstorms or uh, bad dreams, hallucinations, meteors, whatever. But um, the joke's on us. We're the ones who are hiding. They came to me one night in 1959. I was lying in bed reading a book when suddenly a group of little men in blue uniforms walked in the room, short three or four feet tall, very round. Their faces were, well, I was terrified. And then one of them put his hand on my wrist, and it was... Clammy. 
Like the skin of a frog. And one of them said, don't worry, it's not you we're interested in. We're interested in the girl child you're carrying. Did they let you keep her? Now, my daughter is a wonderful woman. And now her daughter is involved, too. How old is she? Uh, my granddaughter is six. Pass it on. The only thing to do is to face it. Because otherwise, it's just going to tear your life to pieces. Believe me, I know. At least you two have each other. My husband did not have the experience, and he tried to have me committed. Now at least he doesn't have me to worry about anymore. I wasn't as lucky as Lori. She still has her daughter and her granddaughter. I was three months pregnant, and my husband and I saw this huge light outside. We just went to sleep. The next morning I woke up and I wasn't pregnant anymore. Whitley, why don't you tell us a little bit more about what happened to you? I think I'd like to go home. So it's my wife and I, you know, we have a family too and we have to think about this. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. I wish you'd stay. I tried hypnosis, I tried this, I tried that, I tried this, I tried that. No, it's not working. I have to do something for myself. You expect things, you expect answers so quickly. We don't even know all the questions yet. <laughs> of course, but if, if, if I was in my right mind, I would know that too. There's nothing the matter with your mind. Be patient. Take care. Don't wait up for me, baby. What are you doing? I shall return. Where are you going? Going for a pack of cigarettes. You don't smoke.
must be awake. Is that what you mean? I must be awake. trick. Look at this. Empty, right? Show them. I should cast the spell. This has to cook, though. I want to say a few things. First, I'd like to say season's greetings. Then I'd like to say, keep your hands on the table at all times. Let me go. Are you old? You've broken my mind. I'll kill you. Can we talk this over? I can't wake up. I am the dreamer. You are the dream. Look, the only thing that really matters here is what I'm about to show you. Clear. You are not gonna let us see you. That's a good idea. War. I'm beating the pants off her, that's for sure. I saw them. You did? Mm -hmm. Something happened. How are you? Good. Yeah, come here. I want to show you something. I made a, a computer game on your computer. What happened? They danced. What kind of dance?
the bossa nova. How do I know? <laughs> <laughs> they let me know that I was chosen. Something. And they invited me to come with them. I had the feeling forever. Then it was morning. They asked you to go away with him? Yeah. I just came home to get my stuff. Mark in the back of your head. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you another one. You need to theory, you know, it's just not strange enough. For the facts, if we're talking about what they know about us, you'd have to you'd have to consider that they they could be sitting at home tonight watching the honeymooners, right? Ralph and Alice, like us. That's why they picked on me. You know what I think? What? I don't think it matters. Well, whatever it is, they know us by way of television and things like that. If, if we're talking about light years, tonight they're watching the first episode of Father Knows Best. It'd be narcissistic of us to feel alone in the universe. People used to think that, that the world was flat. You know, it's a center of things that excludes the possibility of, of visitors. It's really another kind of, of, of the same kind of thinking. The world is getting so small that it would be nice to meet someone new. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what you saw. What does it matter? It doesn't matter. It's just God. You saw something extraordinary. There are many faces of God. Masks of God. Our history is a response to their presence. They might be what the face of evolution looks like when it responds to a conscious mind. You know something? It frightened me. Because you went so far away. But you're back. You're different. I think they gave you something. I do. I think they gave you a gift. You better use it. Look what I've got for you. Good. Mandarin pressed duck. A beautiful bottle of Bordeaux. I'm gonna drop that book, you know, that I'm writing. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna do, drive a cab? I'm gonna write about this. Us. I'm gonna write about what I know. I like that look in your eyes. I'm gonna do it right now. Wait. Watch this. <laughs> Watch out! Whitley is back! First chapter. Look, look, wait. Okay, okay. I got this great first chapter. I got such an idea about how to start.
was a huge light. Are we searching light. for something? What are we doing? Mom, what are we doing? Nothing. Go back to bed. I think it could have been a plane, a helicopter. It's so beautiful. You see the moon? Go back. Andy, wait, wait, come here. Come here. Maybe we do have an afterlife, but not quite the tradition suggests. Maybe you and I are not larva and visitors are human beings and mature.